Well, hey friends, and welcome to my evening routine. My evenings usually begin when I get off work between 5 and 6 p.m. I always like to take a moment just to reset my space before getting ready to go outside for a quick walk. I'll say a quick goodbye to Christopher as he heads off to the gym, then head out to get some fresh air. And despite it being winter and it's experiencing some colder weather at the moment, this truly is one of my favorite parts of the day. It's a chance to breathe deeply, to relax, and to mentally transition from working to resting. I always try to get back before it gets dark, but then once I'm home, I typically like to grab a glass of water and start making dinner. I'm not always the best at remembering to drink enough water, so by pairing getting a glass of water with coming home from a walk, I find that I'm able to get at least one more glass of water in for the day. But then getting started on dinner, on this night, I decided to make this Brussels sprouts and bacon gnocchi recipe from Half-Baked Harvest. Although I did switch the gnocchi out for ravioli. Something that I love to do is just to throw on a podcast to listen to while I cook. And there are a few that I like to rotate through, but I decided to pop on the Dr. John Deloney Show. It's a great podcast that deals with real relationship and mental health issues. I've learned a lot from it. I just listened to that as I put on the bacon and began chopping up the Brussels sprouts. I also put some water on to boil for the ravioli, and there were a number of different components to this meal, but fortunately everything was timed out really well. So I never felt like I was kind of running behind, and I was able to repair each element in turn. So naturally for this meal, we prepared the bacon, the Brussels sprouts, and the ravioli. And the final component was this mouth-watering brown butter and rosemary sauce, which really brought the entire meal together. Then with all the food prepared, I just took a few moments to plate it and finished everything off by sprinkling just a bit of grated parmesan on top. During the winter especially, I love just adding small elements to help romanticize my evenings. So most nights, I like to light a candle to enjoy dinner by. I also love incorporating some fun drinks too. This is a sparkling pomegranate beverage from Trader Joe's and it is so good. And then after enjoying a tasty meal, I highly recommend this recipe. It was so good. I always like to take some time to clean up after myself. I'm really big on trying to reset spaces after I've used them. That way they don't fall into disorder. I'll clean off the counters and put any leftovers away so I can save them for later. I also like to take some time to clean some dishes and put them in the dishwasher. I find that just by taking the five to 10 minutes required to clean up after myself, it really helps ensure that my kitchen always feels clean and organized. Of course, not to be forgotten, I always like to wipe down any surfaces that I've used. Then this doesn't happen every night, but at least several times a week, I like to take a few minutes to vacuum the floor. With our cordless vacuum, this really is just so quick and convenient. I find it to be really satisfying. Then next, with my kitchen clean, I like to head over to the closet, put on some comfy clothes for the evening. Typically, I'll opt for some combination of leggings and a cozy shirt. Really just something that I'll be comfortable in. Then continuing my preparations for the evening, I like to remove my makeup with micellar water and a reusable makeup removing cloth. I like to follow that up by applying a bit of moisturizer and some eye cream. The ones that I've been using lately are from Philosophy.
No evening is complete for me without a warm tea. So next, I like to select and prepare a caffeine-free tea to enjoy. And this night, I opted for one of my favorites, this Rooibos Alpine Punch blend. Once I added the hot water, I let the tea steep for a few minutes, during which time I filled up my fuzzy hot water bottle, which is such a cozy way to keep warm during these cold winter nights. I also lit another candle. So then with my tea ready, I just brought it over to our living room, snuggled up with a warm blanket, and got out my book. I recently started reading The People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry, and I'm not far enough in yet to really give a full review, but I did read Book Lovers, which is another book that she's written earlier last year and really enjoyed it. Reading really is just one of those amazing slow evening activities that really helps me to relax and to unwind. So whenever I can, I always try to make time to read a chapter or two. Then something else that's a bit newer to me but that I've really been loving over the past few weeks is working on this paint by number. This is the first time that I've worked on one of these since I was a kid, but I found this absolutely beautiful one of the Almafi Coast and figured I would give it a try. I have to say it is incredibly slow going. The portion I've done already has taken me well over five hours, but I have found that there's something very mindful and restorative about it. This kind of thing is the perfect activity to listen to music to. So while I painted, I had on Dermot Kennedy's new album, Sonder. My favorite song at the moment by him is One Life. But then around 9 p.m., I'd had my fill of painting and Christopher was back from his meeting. So we decided to watch an episode or two of TV. We just finished watching Ted Lasso, which was a real favorite for us and are now just starting to watch The Chosen. It's a show that follows the life and ministry of Jesus. We'd really enjoyed the first two seasons, so decided to give the third one a go. And so far, we're three episodes in and really loving it. Then after watching our episode, I took a few minutes to tidy up before bed, putting back my pillows and blankets and tidying up my dishes before turning off all the lights and making my way over to the bathroom to brush my teeth and make my final preparations for bed. But that's really it. That's my evening routine. I really hope that you all enjoyed coming along and spending the night with me. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe below and give it a like to let me know that you want to see more like it. Until next time, friends, I am wishing you all a lovely evening, sweet dreams, and good night.